G'day folks and welcome to another formation adventure. It's autumn and what better way to celebrate this season of the year by heading up into the mountains. We're up in the Canangra Boyd National Park here in New South Wales and we've come up here to share with you a cracking campsite and some really, really cool points of interest. More on that later. Right now, Olga's airing down and once she's done that, we're gonna hop in the van, head down this road and get stuck into it. Righto, Olga, you're dropping the tyre pressures. What are you dropping them down to? Yeah, we're dropping them down to about 30 psi and it just smooths out the track as we drive along. Beautiful. Righto, I'll let you keep going. Thank you. Righto, time pressure's adjusted. We're ready to go? Let's do it. All right, let's see what we can find. Just 180 kilometres from the outskirts of Sydney and 20 minutes from Oberon, Canangra Boyd National Park forms part of the Greater Blue Mountains World Heritage Area. The Canangra Boyd Wilderness is among the largest and most rugged wilderness areas in New South Wales. The entire area is an uplifted plateau dissected by deep gorges, which makes access to many areas difficult and therefore to some very appealing. Notable features of the National Park include the Thurat Spires, Canangra Walls Lookout, Mount Kolong and three waterfall systems, the Kalang, the 738 foot two tier drop Kanangra and the Morong Creek Falls. Today we will be visiting Kanangra Walls Lookout and the Kalang Waterfall. Indeed there is so much to do and see. You might be wondering why we've stopped to show you a fallen tree. But you know, when you're driving out in the tracks, from time to time, you get these big trees fall over in big storms or winds. Now, how that can be an issue for us as we're driving around is, we're going down on this track here to Canangra Walls, um, and it's a one way in, one way out track. Now, if we went in this track and this tree happened to fall down, you've got to think about what if it does fall down and I can't get out. Do you have enough provisions to camp overnight for a few days? Do you have a satellite phone? Do you have um, telephone communication? All those things. Part of the reason we like to invest in tools like the RFI, uh, CellFi uh, Go Booster and also why we carry a satellite phone. So just a couple of things. In this case, obviously there's plenty of room to get around, but you just never know and it's always good to think about that what if. If it's camping you're after, then come with me. Set on the banks of the Morong Creek, Boyd River Campground offers a peaceful setting in an open forest. Tall snow gums tower above, and it is known that wombats, wallabies, and kangaroos sometimes join you in the campground. There is plenty of parking available, including several designated disabled spots. The track is also two-wheel drive access friendly but it's best to check the weather before you set out as the campground can become boggy when it rains. The number of campsites are 30 and facilities include picnic tables, barbecue pits and non-flush toilets. A $6 booking fee does apply, but there are no camping fees. This is a remote campground, so please make sure you arrive well prepared and don't forget to bring firewood. As mentioned, the closest town to the campsite is Oberon and you can stock up on supplies there. Whether you want to go bushwalking, ride mountain bikes, have a keen interest in landscape photography or are just eager for a getaway, this is the perfect destination. The start of both the lookout and the waterfall walks are nearby and Boyd River Loop Cycling Trail starts here in the car park. 
There is also a recycled timber day hut on site to provide shelter, rain or shine. Let's have a look. We've just pulled up at the Boyd River camping area. Now Olga's going to tell you all about this place, but right now we're going to meander down to the Boyd River and check it out and share it with you. Come with us. Welcome to the Boyd River Hut. Would you look at that fireplace? I know where I choose to be in wet or snowy conditions. The notice board inside the hut advises that the hut was built by local National Parks and Wildlife Services, as well as contractors in March 1999. Most of the materials used to build the hut were recycled materials. For example, the timber was salvaged from Sydney's Woolloomooloo wharves and milled locally the iron from a recycling centre, and all of the stone donated by landlords in the Jurong area. So for this Australian bush hut, we are grateful. Well, this campsite is certainly worth a second visit and a longer stay, but it's time now to head to our next destination, Kanangra Walls, here we come. Kanangra Walls Car Park is approximately 7.2 kilometres from the Boyd River Campground via the Kanangra Walls Road. A pleasant drive through gravel road and regenerating bushland boosts our energy levels. When living in a world where we spend most of our time working or on the digital plane, browsing on the internet, chatting on our smartphones or watching TV, just getting out and about in nature in any capacity surely makes you happier, does it not? So whether you love the idea of the outdoors, being one with nature or more of a city goer, the Volkswagen camper can be loved and used by all with an adaption for every need. We love our little baby. They say that at the end of every rainbow, there's a pot of gold. Well, the pot of gold on this trip is the Kanangra Walls Lookout. We're also gonna take it down to the Kalang Falls. This is gonna be super special Come with us. The car park at the end of the unsealed road provides the starting point for many walks into the bushland as well as the finishing point. The unfenced lookout is a 10 minute walk down a wheelchair accessible track to Kanangra Walls and slightly longer is the plateau walk with the superb views of Kanangra Creek and Falls and the surrounding cliffs.
The views at Kanangra Walls are spectacular, looking out over the escarpment and down into the deep and wild valley below. The scene is so vast, perspectives seem to shift and change as you stare wide-eyed all the way to the horizon at the layers of untouched wilderness. Kanangra Walls Lookout, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Sensational, breathtaking, magnificent. You reckon we can top this? Let's see, let's go down at the waterfalls. Right on, let's do it. We took a descending track down several steps with a few small sections of friction pictures. The trail was certainly interesting in that it did feel like we were hiking with a sense of vertigo as cliffs and drop-offs were always present along with an exposed spine of ancient rocks. I swear this place could be mistaken as the entry point into a faraway magical forest where fairies rule the land. We were expecting to see an impressive waterfall after the heavy rains and at the bottom of the hanging valley carved out by the Kanangra Creek in the depths of the gorge, we were not at all disappointed. Olga. What do you reckon? That place there is, I would actually build a house on the edge of that cliff and live here and just take a swim in that water every day. It looks so refreshing, I feel like jumping in. Well, I didn't get to jump in, but old mate certainly did. So we've just come along with Ethan here. He's a He's showing us how it's done, mate. What's the temperature in there, buddy? It's like a bar. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's getting there. It's, it's about, it's around zero, I reckon. Beauty. Well, you're Pretty a great cold. sport, mate. Have a good one. Enjoy Thank yourself. You. Catch yeah. you around. You too. Catch up. Well guys, this brings us to the end of our adventure at the enchanting Kalang Falls. This is a special part of New South Wales. We absolutely love it. We're probably going to stay here a bit more, just to savour the moment before we head back up the hill. But when we do, we're going to jump in our van and head off for the next adventure, or for the love of travel. travel.